to the, the Radisson Hotel in Manchester for the opening press conference of the Battle of Britain. Carl Froch, the WBA, IBF, super middleweight champion of the world, will take on George Groves, 23rd of November at the Phonesview Arena. The fights I'm involved in, they're always big fights. They're always a big deal. It's because I always do the business. I've become a massive international superstar. It's as simple as that. Although I'm probably going to be the underdog, 100% this is my time and um, can't wait to be world champion. Listen to it, but, but the kid's doing himself no favours. Simple as that, and that's what he is. He's a kid who shouldn't be in the room with a, a man and a champion. I will not fudge out. I'll knock him out. He won't, he won't need that final belt. No one's finding this tough, aren't you? Yeah. Go on, ask me question. <laughs> You're gonna cry? You're gonna cry, aren't you? Don't cry. You see that? I can hear your voice breaking. He's gonna cry. <laughs> Adam, is he gonna cry? He's whole. Are you okay? What's happening, right? Are you alright? What's happening? What's don't happening? go, don't. Eddie, Eddie's in sitting here. He's sitting here, but he can't help you. You can, you can, you can ask for his reassurance now, but whether he storms the ring before the fight's over or not, he can't help you, Carl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to hold it together all by yourself. And you can now do that. Center of the ring, first round. And I'm gonna hit you with two right now. Just two. Just to let you know, whenever I want, I can hit you with a right hand. Looking forward to doing the job on George Groves on Saturday night. He's had a lot to say. We've all heard what he's had to say. It's been quite embarrassing, to be honest. Saturday night, you're getting absolutely flat. Do you see anything in my eyes that don't make sense? Anything unbelievable about what I'm saying? You're getting absolutely flat. I can't wait. Talking stops. This one's been building and building. A beautiful right hand. There's Tentative the... jab from Fox takes the right hand. He's not throwing the jab with confidence for him, but the range of the. Oh, oh, the nail. Right hand. Mm. George Groves. Mm. Timing perfect. Brought yeah. on the floor for only the yeah. second time. Yeah. Well, he's tentative with his own punches and he paid the penalty. There's that right hand again. And Fox looks unsteady oh, in the eye. He was hit after the bell there. What a sensational start! Groves is stalking him. Let's use the power. Oh, he's done it again! Really been dragged somewhere horrible here, Carl Froch. Flashes of defiance from Froch. Oh, good you never, shot. Ever. When you're leading... Oh, oh terrific! Be absolutely terrific Take again. it away from him. Well, that was a bit better from Froch. Beast up. That was a terrific shot. There's more, another one! Another one, and three more. And this is big stuff from George Groves. Huge right hands! Carl Froch in that bus, he completely outfought him. Missed that time. Froch on him straight away, but couldn't sustain the assault. And George Groves dropped his gloves and said, Come on. What a tear up. Froch is giving it everything now. But can he land anything clean? Huge pressure. But it but just seeing the foolishness of youth, that was crazy stuff there. A terrific jab, and that put him onto his heels there. But Carl Frosch was knocked onto his heels by a jab there. But Groves didn't follow up. You have to expect Groves to start conserving above him. That was a mistake from Groves, is he starting to feel it? Inexperienced again, but not far. Beautiful stuff. And Frosch was shaken to his boots again, but still standing. Well, how much more of this? Getting the body shots in in reply there, Froch. I mean, look at the jab, reaching like with that. it, and there's counter. But he's pushed him back right on the belt. And again, George Groves. Didn't really take anything too heavy there. The right hand. Oh, he's just taken. I saw that one, but that one was in the chin. 
That was a beauty from Floyd. That was bang on the chin. Standing tall and then lands a right hand of his own. And Groves has wobbled. Groves is in big trouble now, and Frotch senses it. And Frotch is going for the finish, because Groves' legs have gone. And Groves hanging on here, just holding and spoiling, trying to buy some time. But Frotch smells blood here. I think Frotch needs to finish it here. He really does. Groves, and Groves is, is in trouble. Thing. He's taken another one, and another. And Howard Foster has stopped it. Wow! That is going to be controversial.